Well, hi, everybody. It's that Gratitude Guy uh, today again with another special guest for the Gratitude Podcast interview. Today, my guest is George Saradakis, a good friend of mine and a very close friend of my younger son, Connor. George, how are you this morning? Doing well. How about you? Pretty well. I think we're all uh, holding up as best we can. I think uh, as an example of these kind of Zoom calls and FaceTimes and things, I think a lot of it has to do with uh, connecting via electronic and technology, which is, which is helping to stay connected. But I think one of the silver linings that's coming up through this is the fact that uh, we don't realize how important connection is and that in-person connection. And now we're all standing six feet apart. So it's kind of interesting. So, but on my podcast interview, as I call it, regarding the pandemic, I have a couple of questions for you. And so my first question for George is, uh, what is your best coping mechanism to deal with this pandemic? Uh, I think reading. I think uh, I think this has allowed, uh, well, the one good thing that this thing's brought out is uh, time for self-reflection and work. And uh, I think that this is the best time to work on yourself, read, try to do as much exercising as possible, and eat healthy, because that's definitely something we've been doing. Those are all good ones. And in, in particular with reading, the exercise and eating healthy makes a lot of sense and maybe catching up with some projects and things. On the reading, any particular type of books, fiction, nonfiction, uh, that you're kind of using during this time? Uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think we're doing some self-help. I just finished, um, uh, I think, Supermarket, a nice little novel, quick read. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I'm switching to 5 a.m. book club after this. Cool. And that's literally reading at 5 a.m.? Uh, I hope. I hope. I hope yeah. I'll be getting up that early. But uh, yeah, mm -hmm. just, it just preaches about that. So. And isn't it the guy that's somebody that you told me about that uh, was recommends getting up at 5 a.m. and starting your day or it was reading or doing something at 5 a.m.? Isn't that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 That's, that's a good concept. Right getting off to a good start. So, okay. Excellent. Next question. So, during these uncertain times, uh, what are you most grateful for? Um, I, I guess my family, of course, are all healthy. Uh, but I guess the society that we live in and, uh, I mean, luckily everything's taken care of. The grocery stores are stocked up. Uh, we don't have to worry about our security. Um, we're safe, you know, so I, I have no doubt that we're going to get through this and America will make sure everybody does. So, yeah. And, you know, knowing your family as well as I do, um, there's something about uh, whether it's the uh, Greek culture or whatever that I think a lot of other countries could learn from the closeness that uh, you guys exhibit as a family. I think I'm pretty close to my family, and yet uh, sometimes I look at your family and I think, wow, how did they get such a great connection? And certainly during a time like this when there's um, a lot of negativity and a lot of sadness and a lot of uh, fear, uh, that, that family and that closeness to that family really pays off. So, so that's good. Yeah, that's, that's neat. You guys have a great family. Uh, lastly, so do you have like a quote or a philosophy or something that kind of sustains George through something like this? Yeah, it goes back to, um, it goes, can I look it up real quick? Sure. The full, the full quote. Mm -hmm. Take me one second. I think you'll love it. It's uh, by Rabbi mm -hmm. Halil. Um, I don't remember the specific date, but it's definitely... It's a very old quote, and um, it goes, if I, am not, if I am for myself, if I am not for myself, who will be? If I am for myself alone, who am I? If not now, when? And if not you, who? Mm, I like that. I think that's a quote that, uh, that I think about, if not every day, is many times a day. And I think too, it's, it's interesting. You, you talk about the most, I always tell in my talks, the most important relationship you ever have is that relationship you have with yourself. And it's interesting as you're reading about with this coronavirus and how, who it attacks and elderly people and people that are, have pre existing conditions and aren't in the best health. And I was thinking about something today. If there's ever a time to suggest why it's not a good idea to smoke, this might be the time where it's like another it's reason time. to take care of yourself. And, I, as somebody who's never had a cigarette in his life, I just think it's interesting. If you, if you take care of yourself, if every one of us does a good job of taking care of ourselves, think how much better we'd all interact with each other and stuff too. So excellent. Well, excellent quote. So 
Cool. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And um, as I said earlier, we're always hoping to pass on a few nuggets. I love that quote. Hopefully people get some inspiration from that, but uh, uh, we'll continue forward. So thank you so much, George. All right. Thank you. You bet.